Mm -hmm. And we're talking about Tiso Blackstar, which owns the Times Media Group and some printing businesses. Yep, it's got a couple here. of other assets in there as well. It's an interesting one. Andrew Bonamore's team did a sort of a reverse takeover and then they merged mm -hmm. with Tiso and so on and so forth. But at the core of the business is the Sunday Times, the Business, business Day. Day and BDTV. Exactly. And then Hurt and Carter, the printing business. But then there's some residual legacy assets yeah. Lance can fill us in. Yeah. Market cap, 2.6 billion rand, no PE ratio, and a dividend yield of 0.9%. So, uh, interesting, a, a private equity group that's really formed into a media company. Um, there's some legacy private equity assets, quite small, mainly in sort of steel and mm. that. And they, they are looking to divest of them at the right time. Um, it's a series of mergers and transactions to get to this point. So, um, Cajiso Tizo was formed and then Blackstar bought Cajiso Tizo um, and, and really got the media assets to put together. But you've got KTH left over, which is the, the, the old Cajiso Tizo holding company, which is 22%, but that's been sold. The other residual assets being, being, being sold off. So, you've got that core media business left behind. Uh, Do you like the core media business? Mature traditional media assets, again, it's, it's the same thing. And it's really about, I would argue, like that Boston Consulting Matrix cash cow. Uh, mature assets, if you can get the cost right, nice cash cow, cash flows out of the business. And that's really the play, I think, and trying to maybe digitize some of your assets around that. Paul, you must have looked at the numbers here. Yeah? Mm, well, look, it's been a bit of a choppy ride. Yeah. It also involved an offshore listing and then a relisting and a swap of shares, which got very complicated. I don't like the idea that print media is at the core of the business because I think that's a dying business. Print media isn't the way people consume that anymore. I know the Sunday Times still sells a lot of copies, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. It's a tough challenge to take that content and move it into an online environment. Although I will tell you, the business day had a massive blow when the JSC took away the rule that you had to publish oh, results. Oh, when you had to pay, exactly, pay for but publishing But the recent in integration, numbers. the recent paywall-based offering from the Financial Mail and the business day is actually very good. So if people are not paying that 140 rand or something, it's an interesting proposition. It's tough to get people to pay for content online but they've got a good product going. I've got to give it to them. I have to admit, I'm one of those in the habit of buying the Sunday Times every yeah. Sunday. Sunday doesn't feel complete without <laughs> buying the Sunday Times. Yeah, <laughs> but they're going to have to cannibalize their business, as I said, and you've got to be pretty bold. So the Sunday Times is going to slowly decline. And I'm not a millennial. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. We, we're talking about a habit that's been formed over many years in South Africa. Yes, almost from our parents' generation. Um, so I see that as a sunset business. That, that's really the, t and, and you would need to tighten it up to, to get as much cash flow as it, divert some of that into your digital strategy and, and try and monetize that. Mm. Quite tough to execute, I must say. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Not Hot. Not I hot? know it's a difficult time out there, but they've also, you know, broken some eggs in making that particular omelet. So um, I'm not sure that everybody- That's a new analogy. them to <laughs> succeed. Hot or not? Uh, not hot. I'm not going to ask you to explain the broken <laughs> eggs in the omelette.